Okay, well, welcome back. I had promised in an earlier video in this series that we would talk about the phase control or the polarity control. And, and let me explain a little bit about what that all means. So in a big, I can't see anything without these glasses, sorry. I try to look young without them, but you know. So in this board, as we had talked about before, this is a Studer board. There are very simple controls. There's a volume control up and down. There's the mute control, which will mute that particular channel. A, uh, a pre-fader level, which if I push that, it's going to show me just this one channel, everything before that pot. And the solo, which is just that channel, and everything that is after the pot. So what I'm hearing here with the pot. Um, and then we have a balance control, and then we have some bus sends, and we also have an aux send, which we can use for echo and those kinds of things, auxiliary things from the sidecar off of here, and then some EQ, okay? So that's basically it. Now, the button up here, which tells me whether it's in phase or out of phase, sometimes doesn't really matter. So if I have a singer that I recorded with a single microphone in an ISO booth, if I click that phase button, that polarity button, you're not going to hear a big difference between in phase and out of phase. It's when microphones bleed into each other, or of course if you have a stereo microphone, but on a mono microphone, it doesn't really quite matter. So let's say that you have a singer on a mono microphone, and that mono microphone is also picking up something in the distance, or maybe a guitar, and there's a, another microphone at a different distance away where uh, somebody is plucking something. Now we have a distance difference, and when you have a difference in distance, then phase angles start to matter. So I'm going to play you something, and this is a great recording that will someday be on Octave Records from a wonderful musician, Danny Schaefer. And Danny was recorded here at Octave Records, and great musician. Um, he is playing on his guitar, and there are actually three microphones. So there's a distance microphone, sort of to get the sense of feel of the room. There's a microphone that is near his guitar and a microphone on his voice. And this is recorded live. So when we first start playing this, everything is in phase. And you'll notice when I click the out of phase button, if I put the, the microphone that recorded his voice out of phase with the one that is recording the guitar, all of a sudden things get fuller. And they get fuller because we're not getting phase cancellation. And sometimes when we have multiple microphones too close to each other, we get this cancellation. And so I'm going to demonstrate for you the, the difference. And hopefully this whole setup still works and it doesn't sound terrible. So here's Danny. <laughs> Yep. My grandmother talked to Mary every single day as she took care of babies to Mary she would pray not to the Holy Trinity not to the Son of Man So now that's out of phase Mary could understand On a summer's night a dirt road outside of town Everything was dusty. Hear how his voice gets kind of tinny sounding? Stars wrapped all around her, baby on the bed. Mary always listened to every word she said. Now we're doing it to the other microphone. And when I was a kid, the statue of Mary watched over everything we did. When the tornado took the crops from the land. Okay, so you can see what, or probably more accurately, you can hear what happens 
when we have everything in phase but with microphones that are in, in such a, a way that either by their, their, um, uh, their setup pattern or by the distance that they are from each other when they're both picking up the same signal, sometimes we have to put one of those out of phase in order to capture the full richness of a recording without having those phase problems that can happen between microphones. And that is where that phase button on this big Studer or any device, you can do it on a DAW, doesn't really matter. That's where that really comes into play. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to show that to you. We'll do more next time. All right. Thanks for being with us. I'll talk to you later. Bye.